Hey guys, Mr. Feeder here here. In today's video, I'd like to talk to you about Ant Weapon. And generally, the kind of negative feedback is receiving from a lot of players from the community. Now, for those that don't know, Ant Weapon basically allows your weapon to be improved on, increases damage wise against pilots and titans, and AI and other machinery. And apparently now it's becoming such a problem that people want it to be nerfed. But the main problem I'm seeing when people ask them to be nerfed is that no one's given a relatively good answer behind it. It's the same with phase shift. A lot of people are complaining about phase shift, but no one has really given a good feedback based on it, on how to counter it or how to nerve it. At best, I have seen a few. Some of them have been relatively good. Some, for example, for phase shift has been to reduce it, reduce its charge from two to one. Other people have generally said that. They should make it so that you shouldn't really heal, even though that kind of isn't there. And other people will have just genuinely said that they just wanted to get rid of it completely. And I can't really say that it's it's really the best idea to go ahead with getting rid of a class ability that is functional and usable to a degree for most players. Now, Ant Weapon. I, I personally use Ant Weapon a lot. I only use Ant Weapon a lot because it allows me to speed up my kill even more. And even though the time to kill in this game is incredibly high, I like to speed up a process. I like to make sure I drop people in situations where I know I wouldn't be able to kill them. Because sometimes most of my shots, when I shoot into that person, not only do they survive with like a silver of health, other times they manage to get drop onto me, and even though they're not, even though they miss, they somehow still able to pull it off and kill me. And sometimes it's just like, it's bad luck. Other times I just need to get better. Other times I just need to get good. But other times I just enjoy using ant weapons to get the catch onto people and to drop people. And it basically allows me to rack up a lot of kills. Because I'm the type of person that enjoys moving about the map and hogging up all the kills as possible and being number one on the leaderboard. Now, in some of the people, now the people that are receiving this or on the receiving end, this might not be the case. At the weapon, when you're, on, when you're on the receiving end, isn't fun. Because the moment you get killed by a person, you spawn and you think, yeah, I'll get that person back. And then you get killed again. And then you repeat this process over and over again because you're trying to get at one person who is either camping up in an area or is, you know, hogging up a certain area that has a big bonus or big mouth enemies that you need to get past there, but you can't because this person can And it becomes a major problem, especially if they're using a the weapon that is extremely broken at all ranges. For example, a amped up G2 it is not really the best weapon that I like to talk about, but it's one of those weapons that once it's amped, it becomes basically a mini DMR. Except for the one shot capability, it basically feels as a much faster, accurate and even slightly deadlier DMR. And many people argue that amp weapon is too powerful. From what I can say, is good for people that know how to move around the map and know the weapon that they're really good with. If you go with the alternator and you use ant weapon with it, you'll become really amazing. And if you know how to move around the map, it's even more better. For those type of players that are very skilled and have honed their skills in Titanfall 2, then yeah, ant weapon is going to be for you. Because it basically allows you to wipe the floor with people. It allows you to get the drop on them people and it allows you to get out of sticky situations that in some situations they may have you know killed you first but in this case you kill them first and although there are some counter there are some counters to it such as you're going to either use an a wall or a hard cover to help you or even better off the moment you kill that person with the ant weapon they drop it upon death there's still a chance of them still countering you because one of the main problems with Ant Weapon is that it stacks. And you can also go back to the spot that you died with the Ant Weapon and pick it back up again. But it's only there for a few minutes, so you have to be quick. And a lot of people feel like for a boost, it shouldn't be like that. A boost that allows that it basically increases your damage is fine, but it shouldn't be stackable at best. It shouldn't be, you know, a boost that's, you know, well fitted for really good players. It should be a boost that allows anyone to have an advantage, and it's true, it does, it allows anyone to have an advantage. But a lot of people are complaining that it's too powerful, too good. And at best, I don't really know what is good and what's bad about it. I enjoy it, so I could be really biased about it. 
but you may not like it. You may have been on a receiving end of it. So at best, the best kind of recommendation I can give to kind of balance out amp weapon is to make it so that either it's timer based or it can stack. Now, if we make it timer based, we have to make it timer based in a reasonable fashion. Make it so that the moment you use it, you're going to have to use it within the select amount of time. So that means then people can't really pop it on and off over and over again. So if you use it, you need to use it in an area that is either heavy under fire or if you know there's a group of enemies there. Now I'm not sure on what type of timer we could put into it. We could maybe put maybe a minute or a minute and a half at best. So the player will have enough time to go on the map with the ant weapon, do as much damage as possible until it unamps itself. And then keep it stackable. So then that way then it's still not too powerful. Because the moment that person loses it, not only will they lose out on that ant weapon, but then they won't be able to go back and pick up that ant weapon. Because the timer would have run out by the time they go back to it. Or if they do go back to it, the timer won't even be long, so it won't really be worth it in some situation. Another thing I can think of is to either make it unstackable. At the current moment, you can stack your amp weapon, I believe, up to three or five times. Or you can keep stacking it over and over again. And this, in many ways, kind of makes it broken. Because a really good player could, you know, go off and stack hundreds or, let's say, at best, five of these in a row, go around the map, do a ton of damage to the enemy team, then finally get killed, and then when they get revived, they can amp the weapon up again and repeat the process. And for him, it may be really good. It's fun, it allows you to get quick um quick kills, you take a screenshot, show your friends, show on YouTube that oh you defeated all these noobs and such. But for the other team, it becomes boring, it becomes annoying. To the point of where they just end up leaving the game. And then you ask yourself, where's the fun in that? So, why not make it unstackable? By not making it stackable, by not making it stackable, it basically means that you have to use that one amp when you, the moment you get it. That way then, if you are going on a kill streak, you have to make sure that you have it with that one weapon amped. You can't just go off, you know, go on a kill streak, get killed, and then amp your weapon again. No, there won't be no second chances. The moment you lose that first amp, that's it. You have to start from scratch again. And in this, many, in this way then, it basically means that players will have to use it in a timely manner. They'll have to think about first how they're going to approach this manner. Are they going to go off and attack the player, use an amp weapon, or are they going to wait and hold back? Are they going to wait for the right moment to use it? Because at best, if they do it still, they can still stack it, but at best they're going to have to use the amp weapon, go off and get kill streak, and then get the next one. And that kind of sticks to what we currently have at the moment. Just you won't be able to stack it at best. And then, like I said, also add in the fact that you can't go back to your own body to where you can pick up your amp weapon and then maybe it'll balance it out. But the problem with amp weapon is that it's kind of hard to balance it. Because it basically gives you a lever it gives all players a leverage on the battlefield. Whether you're good or whether you're new, it gives you a leverage. But trying to think of a way to balance it in a way to favour, you know, those players complaining, it's not really an easy task. I think at the moment it's fine. I don't think it's that much of a problem. There are other problems in the game that need to be fixed and looked into. But amped weapon, amped weapon at the moment is kind of fine. Now you may disagree with me at best and say to me, I don't have a clue what I'm on, what I'm on about. And if, it's, if that is the case, then by all means, leave a comment in the comment section and let me hear your thoughts. But personally for me, I think ammo weapon is kind of fine at the moment. But that's just me. I'm very biased. So that is the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then leave a like for more. If not, then leave a dislike. I will understand and I will make sure that I will improve in the future. Also, do be aware, you can subscribe. Uh, subscribing does help my channel out and it does allow me to bring more quality content for you. And if it's not quality, then it's just quantity. And if it's neither of those, then I'm failing at something here. So be, be sure to tell me along the way what I'm doing wrong. But thank you all for watching. I do hope to see you all again soon.